welcome to my channel. In today's video, I thought it would be fun to peruse the internet together and window shop a little bit for a specific trend that I've noticed, the chunky loafers. They're pretty much everywhere and I want a pair. I don't know which pair yet. I probably will wait for the sales to start. But in the meantime, I thought, let's take a look at all the chunky loafers the luxury stores have to offer. All right, let's start. So I actually do have two top contenders. Let's take a look at those first. My first number one contender is the Academy Loafer from Louis Vuitton in this colorway, which is the black colorway with the logo. I just think these are to me the epitome of a chunky loafer. I would want to wear them with socks. I would want to wear them in a really preppy, fun style. Price is 12 40 and Louis Vuitton does not go on sale. I would have to fork over $1,240 for these babies. And I am not 100% sure if these are it. They also come in white and black and gold. They look a little more pimp to me, which I love as well. They do come in this burgundy colorway, which is actually probably my least favorite. Black and white is cute, but I think my favorite pair is the just the basic logo pair. If you are interested in these, they're all available and it looks like they're not sold out at all. Now let's go on to Prada. Okay, these are probably my top contenders. These are the Prada brushed leather loafers. Okay, these are probably the most popular loafer that's happening right now. And I've seen so many people wearing them and they're so cute. They're very just retro cool. Uh, they give me 90s Prada vibes, but they give me vintage vibes as well. So I think, I just think this is an all around winner for me. I just feel like I would have these my whole life. They just feel like an investment piece. It's definitely price to move for Prada, $850 compared to the $1,240 from the Louis Vuitton loafers. The price difference is significant. Okay, let's do Gucci next. Gucci actually has a couple different pairs. They have the leather lug sole horse bit loafer. So that is $980. They have this gold hardware. And then the back of the shoe has got the little embroidered B. To me, these feel like a really cute 90s throwback. Very cool. I like these a lot actually. And let's see these. These are the women's loafer with tiger head. So these are $980. So to me, these kind of just look a little cheaper. The rubber sole looks kind of Frankenstein-y to me, but it looks kind of cheap as well. These remind me of creeper shoes, actually. They're like a loafer creeper. I don't love them as much. I think the ones I really like are the leather lug sole horse bit loafers. Let's go on to something a little more fun. Loewe. Loewe has this loafer. So the chunkiness level is not that chunky, but the embellishment is this pearl crazy gold brooch that is just gorgeous and it's this faux crocodile embossed leather they just look expensive and they are expensive they're eleven hundred dollars they're a little fancier a little less schoolgirl to me they're a little more business bitch i'm just looking for something more for an everyday i guess and this just feels a little too dressy for me as well okay next up we have marnie so these marnie chunky loafers are called chunky square toe leather loafers the cool part about it is this square toe i think it makes them a little more interesting and cooler i'm just not sold on these i'm not in love with them they're cute not my favorite but i do like them and i do like that they come in these pretty colors i actually think the cream color and this olive green color are really really beautiful up next we have proenza schooler this is the proenza schooler top stitch patent leather loafers it's that kind of a shiny leather but it's not patent patent and it has this contrast white stitch throughout the sole and i think that contrast little stitch adds a little something to it i think these are really cute and uh the price point though 865 dollars they're basically 
more expensive than the Prada ones. If you prefer not to have a logo on your loafer, I think these would be a really great option because they're kind of inconspicuous, but you can tell that they're expensive. Up next is Roger Vivier. Up in here, we got some kind of a pilgrim version and I'm into it actually. This is the Viv Rangers patent leather loafers. So basically it's a pilgrim like buckle on a leather loafer. This is really chic and it's got a little RV logo on the buckle. This is a really chic little loafer. It even comes in this heel kind of a version. He even has Viv Rangers patent leather loafers with the crystals on the buckle. Up next we have Lambon. This loafer is actually quite chic. I just think the logo is really chic. It has silver and gold in it. It's kind of an inconspicuous logo. Honestly, it doesn't scream Lambon. It doesn't scream anything. I don't know what it is. Kind of a cool shoe if you want to be more conspicuous and you don't want to be so logo heavy. And it's actually not that chunky either. And if you want to be more ladylike and sleek with it, this Lambon loafer is really cute. Okay, up next we have Valentino. And Valentino's classic one is this Rock Stud Loafers. And they are retailing for $775, which is a mighty nice price compared to everyone else. I think this is chic and I think this is a really cute option. Okay, then there's this option. This is the Valentino V logo loafers. So this is the black V logo loafer version and this is $845 and it has that buckle that they're using everywhere and now it's on this loafer. They're very cool. Probably prefer these over the studded ones. They're cool. As you can see, if you Google just chunky loafers, the possibilities are endless and there's so many different price points you can find and so many different variations. It's definitely a trend that's happening. For me, I think after doing this together, I'm really into the Prada loafers and I think those will be my purchase. Maybe a Christmas present to myself, who knows? Let me know if you have a chunky loafer or if you plan on buying one for this fall and winter season. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.